Hello EL Physics. This is our second video as we're doing our at home online learning. So in this video, we are going to learn a little bit about waves. That's where our last video ended. So that's what we are going to focus on. Remember, we have a new unit. We're trying to learn what stars are made of. These things right here, what stars are made of. We learned in the last video that our sun outside, it's the same kind of object. It's a star, it's just close, it's just close. And we know, of course, that the sun shines light and we need to understand waves because light is a type of wave. So we're learning waves to understand light so we can learn about the sun and stars. So remember, we should still practice doing a little bit of writing, either on a piece of binder paper, a piece of scratch paper, like, oh yeah, oh, just turn it around. Ah, a piece of scratch paper. Let's practice writing for day two. And here's my question. Here's my what do you think? Give three examples of waves. What is a wave? Can you think of an example? In Spanish, ooh, I'm not going to say it very well. Ondas. Huh? Mm? Ah, hablo muy bueno. So what do you think? Try and think of three types of waves, if you can, and write them down. Three examples of waves are one, two, three. Give it a shot. Maybe hit pause on the video so you can write it down. Mr. Thrasher might ask for a snapshot of these journal entries later. Hmm. Well, Mr. Thrasher has some examples of waves. It's okay if yours are not on here. That's okay. But Mr. Thrasher thought of some, and let's see his examples. So first, let's see. Uh, ah, an ocean wave. If you think of a wave, maybe you've heard of an ocean wave, a water wave. Oh, sound. It's okay if you didn't know this, but sound is a type of wave. Mr. Thrasher is talking. You hear me because of sound waves. Oh, we learned last video that light is a type of wave. Oh, earthquakes. Oh, look at this. An earthquake is a type of wave. When the ground is going up and down and up and down, it's because of earthquake waves. Earthquakes. Ma, and Mr. Thrasher thought of some funny ones. Some people say, oh, you wave your hand. At least in English, you wave your hand. Or you might say a type of hair. Look at this, a wavy hair. Look, it's kind of similar to this, a wavy kind of hair. Or even, look, wavy chips, wavy potato chips. So those are all some examples. Ah, and my favorite. Ah, you go to see a baseball game or a soccer or football game. You do, in English at least, it's called a stadium wave. And look, it looks like it's waving across. It's kind of similar to this, right? Oh. Those are some examples of waves. In this video, we are going to learn some new vocabulary. That's the point of this video. So, our definition of a wave. Hmm. A wave is up and down, up and down. That's why I have this picture here. A wave is up and down or back and forth, back and forth, motion, movement, that moves energy. We learned a little bit about energy before. So a wave is a movement, either up and down, up and down, or back and forth, back and forth, 
that moves energy. Energy goes from here to here in a wave, at least it can. Oh, difficult kind of definition. Not really clear. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's our ocean wave again. Do you think ocean waves, do you think water has energy? Oh man, yeah, it has a lot of energy, right? You could get hit by an ocean wave, that'd be terrible. Think of flooding. Waves have a lot of energy. It's energy of moving water. Ah, so there is an example to help us think about how waves cause energy to move. It's moving energy, and it's a type of movement, up and down or back and forth, back and forth. Ah, so here is our ocean wave. Do you think this is up and down or back and forth? Ocean waves are actually a little difficult. Look, we can see right here, they go up and down, up and down. So a lot of people think ocean waves are up and down, and that's correct. But also, they're a little bit of back and forth. Look at this little orange dot right here. Look, it's going back and forth, back and forth. Maybe you've seen a boat. A boat on the water, if there's a wave, kind of goes back and forth and up and down. Mm, that's a little complicated, though. We'll look at one type or the other. Okay, so we learned about waves. There are two types of waves. This is our next vocabulary. And these are some difficult words. So let's practice speaking these words. The first type of wave is called a transverse wave. A transverse wave. It might be kind of silly to do it at home, but you should practice this word. It's a difficult English word. Say transverse. Transverse. A transverse wave. It's the wave that goes up and down, up and down. Here we see an animation of transverse wave. The particles go up and down, up and down. Here are those arrows, up and down, up and down. That's transverse wave. Next type, another difficult word, another difficult word longitudinal mm. longitudinal try saying longitudinal mm. a longitudinal wave a longitudinal wave is back and forth back and forth oh no there's a little picture i'm in the way oh oh can i get out of the way oh gosh oh sorry back and forth Look at this. This is a hand, and it's going ooh, like this, like this, like this, back and forth, back and forth. This is like a slinky or a piece of metal spring. Go back and forth. Let's see. They go, they go forward and back, back and forth. That's longitudinal. Transverse, up and down. Longitudinal, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, the last little bit is we can measure waves. And there are two measurements we're going to look at first. Two measurements we're going to look at. The first is called wavelength. Again, some difficult words. Wavelength. Try saying wavelength. Wavelength is how long, how long one wave is. It's how long they are. The next word, and this is our last vocabulary word, is amplitude. Amplitude. Try saying amplitude. Amplitude is how tall a wave is, how tall. A wave is. So, wavelength, 
amplitude. I have a picture. Oh, here we have a wave. This is one of those up and down transverse waves. Up and down. Now, there's many waves. There's a wave, 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 multiple waves in this picture. One wave and one wavelength. Remember how long you go from one spot, one location on the wave to the next location. Mr. Thrasher kind of thinks these look like mountains. They kind of look like mountains. So you can measure wavelength, how long the wave is, from one mountain to another mountain. Here to here, that's one wave or one wavelength. This is a math symbol for wavelength. We might look at it later. That's in a different language. That's a Greek letter. So there's wavelength. Amplitude. Amplitude, how tall a wave is. Now, how tall a wave is is not from the very bottom to the very top. It's from the middle. So it's from the middle. So here's our very top, the mountain, the very bottom. For amplitude, we measure in the middle. So we go from way up top, mountain, way down low. It's a little cut off. But this is the middle line. It's in the middle. Amplitude is it's like how tall the mountain is, right? I have a mountain, and then I have like a, a valley. I have a valley, ooh, a hole. Amplitude is like how tall the mountain is. Now, Mr. Thrasher has an animation I want to show you. And again, this will be in the description. Ah, here I have a wave. This is a wave generator. It's moving like this, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And there's a piece of string attached. Look, Mr. Thrasher could hit stop. Ah, there's a piece of string attached. I could maybe restart it. Mm, ah, so here's the string. And I go up and down and up and down. Is this transverse? or longitudinal. It's transverse, up and down, and up and down, and up and down. Now again, multiple waves are being made, but let's measure amplitude and wavelength. For wavelength, how long the wave is. Here's my meter stick. I could go from the top of a mountain to the next top of the mountain. So maybe I take my meter stick like this. Mm, okay, just like this. So here's zero right here. What's the wavelength? What do you think? Mm, it's a little more than four. It's maybe about 4.1 centimeters. 4.1 centimeters. That would be the wavelength, approximately. Okay, the amplitude. Hmm. Let me move this out of the way. Do I measure amplitude from the bottom to the top? No. I measure from the middle. From the middle. This is my middle line. So amplitude, I go like this. What's the amplitude of the wave? How tall the wave is? What do you think? Is it two? No. Is it one? Mm, not quite. It's a little less than one. I don't know, maybe 0.9 or maybe 0.8. Okay, so the amplitude is about 0.8 centimeters. And you can make different waves. Mr. Thrasher could make a bigger wave. Oh, look at this. Ooh, a bigger amplitude. Or I could make a smaller amplitude. Oh, look at that, how tiny it is. Oh. Mr. Thrasher could also change the wavelength. Oh, look, now the waves are a little smaller. So you can make different size waves. Okay, I'm almost done with my video. Let me go back right here. Let's do a little final review. 
Let's try and remember what these vocabulary words are, okay? First test. What is the definition of a wave? What would you say? A wave is up and down or back and forth motion that moves energy. If you thought up and down, good. If you thought back and forth, good. If you thought moving energy, oh, fantastic, fantastic. Transverse wave. What was transverse? Which of these? Oh, no, I'm in the way again. Ah! Which of these was transverse? Mm, transverse is up and down type of wave. It's the up and down type. This one is transverse. Sorry, I'm, I'm in the way. Ah! Up and down. How about longitudinal? What's longitudinal? Back and forth. Back and forth type of wave. Here is our longitudinal. Some difficult words. Wavelength. What was wavelength? Hmm. Wavelength was how long one wave is. How long one wave is. And what's amplitude? What's wavelength is how long. Amplitude is how tall how tall one wave is. You will practice some of these vocabulary words a little later. Okay, that's it for my video. We learned the definition of waves, the types of waves, and two measurements of waves. That's all I have. Remember to wash your hands, everyone. Stay safe. Stay safe. Thank you very much for watching.